Legendary rockers play them, the company that makes them is now under investigation. Gibson Guitar raided by federal agents over whether the company is illegally importing wood for those guitars. But according to the CEO, the government says he wouldn't be in this fix if he just used foreign workers instead. Gibson CEO Henry uh, Deskowitz joining us right now. Now, we did call the Department of Justice. No comment from the Department of Justice. Uh, Henry, what happened here? Well, uh, last Wednesday, we had uh, a raid uh, with armed agents came into our factories, uh, three different factories, and our corporate headquarters. They evacuated all the people in the factories. Uh, they were standing out in the uh, driveway and the street and the parking lots, respectively. Uh, the agents started to seize uh, a, a great deal of raw material for our guitar manufacturing process, as well as papers and hard drives and such. Uh, and they closed our plants down for the uh, almost the entire day. Well, what was their argument? That you, the wood you were using, you shouldn't have used, but I understand that the wood you use, there was no problem with the governments of the countries from which you got it. That, that's right. Uh, initially, when they raided us, they didn't tell us why they were raiding us. And it was only two days later when they revealed the affidavit, uh, which, which then went on to, to have a, a cause regarding the wood. And, and it really regards the definition uh, of an import item. Uh, we've been importing this wood for 17 years consistently. Uh, on a regular basis with no problem and our competitors continue to uh, use and buy this wood oh, without whoa, whoa, any problem whoa, 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 today. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's interesting. So uh, your competitors use the same wood that's in question here? Yes. And th their offices were not raided? Correct. Your offices were raided? That's right. And you've been threatened that if any of your, if, if you keep selling this stuff, uh, you're, you could go to the pokey, right? That's right as well, which is really kind of a nightmare. Yeah, so it would mean, especially, Henry, that anything you're saying on this show can and will be used against you. No, I, I, but here's what's weird, Henry, looking at this. Uh, out of the blue, they pick on you. There's no problem with the governments the, from whose country you're getting this wood and have for many, many years. Then they just get involved. And I'm, I'm trying to add this up, and I don't, I don't understand. What prompted this? Was it uh, either a competitor's call? Or was it just an out of the blue witch hunt? What? I, you know, we have no idea. They're not talking to us. Uh, you know, when they originally raided us in 2009, uh, there was, you know, uh, an affidavit as well. They did not tell us what that what was. What did they do when they sealed. raided? They, what did they do when they raided you? They, they shut us down, and they took a, a great deal of wood and, uh, you know, generally harassed our employees and intimidated them. Did they return any of the products they took? No. And, in fact, we have a lawsuit in Nashville Federal Court uh, for the return of the product that was seized in the original 2009 uh, raid. Wouldn't that be a kick if some justice folks who took the product, they're like, strumming in a room right now, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, I, what, here's what's amazing, Henry, that um, out of the blue, they come after you, and I'm trying to see why they would come after you when there are much bigger fish to fry. You're a commendable company. You have a lot of d devoted, diehard fans and musicians, but you're not a big, big cheese, in other words. Uh, no offense to you. Uh, so I'm wondering why. Something's not adding up. Why did anyone... If you or your staff are saying anything critical of the White House, critical of this Justice Department, critical at all? You know, we've been pretty low-key. We're a guitar company. We've been manufacturing guitars. Uh, we've been involved in the environmental movement, so we've been trying to do the right thing in terms of sourcing. Uh, we, we really don't know why they're picking but on the us. Part of their affidavit yeah. says that a, a, a lot of these shipments were... We're falsely labeled. I don't know what that means, but what, what, what do you think they mean by that? Well, uh, the, the only thing I know of uh, is in regards to one shipment that was seized that has nothing, is not part of the raids, but there was a shipment seized 
uh, at our broker about a month ago, and somebody had filled in the wrong uh, import category on the paperwork. In other words, uh, it was not, there was no question of what the product was, where it was from, uh, and, but somebody had, had put the wrong number on a form, and they seized those you don't, goods. You don't see stuff from our that, broker. though. You know? But I, I don't know. Well, the government did, but believe yeah. me. And uh, but you're just back to selling the stuff as usual and moving on. We're, we're we're trying to move on, but oh. you know they took well over a month's worth of raw material out of our factory, and and so it's going to be hard going for us to recover from that. Well, we'll watch it closely, Henry Jeskowitz, but it is amazing. And again, we did uh, uh, place calls and interview requests to anyone at the Justice Department. They declined. We're going to stand this story because just, I just want you to think it's a fairly small, albeit significant company in its little universe here. Out of the blue, picked on, uh, everything seized, a lot of jobs in jeopardy. Why?